guys um it's october 27th and i figured i'd come on here and talk to you guys really quick before i get on with my job interview yes i have a job interview today um i actually have two i have one tomorrow as well so i have an hour before i actually have it i'm like praying that caleb either falls asleep or i entertain him enough for him to let me have the interview um i might just put him outside for a little bit so he can play so then i can do it i just wanted to come on here to talk to you guys um for a little bit i haven't really been doing much i am just drinking my coffee right now and i took violet to school yesterday school was uh closed because of the supposedly storm we got from what I heard, that's the their school was the only one that closed. So I don't understand. But anyways, so it was kind of stressful for me to have all the kids home at the same time by myself when I wasn't expecting it. So I couldn't really vlog much. Um, but today I have karate and I also have therapy for myself. So it's going to be a pretty good day, I think. And depending on how the interview goes, um, I think today's going to be a good day. The weather is looking better already, so that's a good thing. I just want to say that I'm still sore from the karate on Monday. We did some pretty cool stuff, and I kind of went hard. Like, I was really into it, and I'm literally still sore. Like, my neck is sore. Like, my shoulders right here, and, like, right here, the back of my um arms, biceps, whatever. So sore. Like... But it's a good feeling. I know that I worked hard. That's how being sore kind of shows me like that I pushed myself. So I'm happy about that. And I also was over here in my planner trying to plan um, for next week. Um, so November starts on Monday. And I want to try to plan for the month. I It helps me stay fo staying focused and stuff like that. So I've written out like any workouts I want to do and some little goals I have for the week I'm trying to take it week by week I don't want to overwhelm myself for the whole month so on Monday November starts and I did that first seven days I have everything written what I want to do any goals I have um not only with weight loss but like I have to meditate daily and just to remember to take my self-care day things like that so i can stay on track with myself okay, i kind of want to do something different i want to kind of talk to you guys about um, my mental health journey and how it started and where i'm at right now and um hopefully somebody can watch this and relate or maybe start their journey to better mental health uh, so that's all i can hope for to start off with um when i first was having some issues. Um, first of all, I currently was in a very uh, high demanding, very toxic environmental job. Um, it was very straining on my mental health and stuff like that. Um, let's just say like the job was very demanding. I never took a day off. And when I took a week off, I was making it up at night. I worked almost every weekend just hours and hours I worked overtime every freaking day like it was a lot and I pushed myself I really loved my job but and I didn't mind working all those hours but the fact that um the owner and the people above me were very toxic very negative very just I would just have to say not very good people it really put it like me in a toxic kind of vibe and that's when I started realizing um that things were different with me I was literally always crying I was very stressed out with this job and I was trying to just make it work make it stay I just told myself like maybe I'm just being weak like you know it'll be fine it'll pass like things will get better and you know the i made good money so obviously you want to try to make it work so basically um i got a promotion and like i went to school 
to get to get certified and I got this job. And then I would say two or three years after I was working there, I learned everything and I got a promotion. And um, when I got this promotion, I was basically like thrown into it because the person that I took their spot just decided to leave the company. So they put me up because I knew basically how to do everything in the department. And I basically had to learn everything by myself. Like the person, the, my superior was telling me how she knew everything, she can help me, all this stuff, but she never had time to help me. She just, basically I felt alone. I had to learn everything. I had to call like companies and clients and things like that to figure things out on my own which I don't mind I'm very a self-starter person and if I want to figure something out I'm gonna figure it out so that's when it all started I started to basically not sleep which I didn't know was a sign so I wasn't sleeping I was working overnights sometimes I would work like like let's say Monday I work all day I came home I would cook I would work go back to work work overnight into the next day so that's how I'd work, um, which is is not good. Um, so that's when it all started. I wasn't sleeping, and then I would have like like symptoms here and there. Um, I would be working, and then all of a sudden, my heart would start racing. I called my husband maybe two three times to meet me somewhere after I pick up my children because. I felt like I was going to pass out in my car. I couldn't breathe. I was having like heart palpitations and things like that. So he would have to meet up with me because I thought I was going to pass out behind the wheel while I was driving with my kids. Um, and this was not like back to back. It was happening randomly. And I would just say like, I'm stressed. I'm not sleeping. I'm tired. So like, this is why I'm acting like this. And because I was working so much, like my diet was horrible. I was drinking like five, six cups of coffee a day. It was so toxic for myself and I didn't even realize. So then COVID hit, pandemic, you know, we're home. We were home for a little bit because of the kids. You know, my kids are in school, so we were home virtual learning. So I had to be home with them. Um, my boss made it impossible. She was even worse because I was home. She had this thing where she had to be on top of everybody all the time. So she was frustrated that people were home and it was just like, I would cry every day after work. Every day I would cry. And because I was home, I had no hours to punch out. Like I would punch out and the computer's there. So I would go back on my computer and just do more work. So it was a lot. Um, and then when we came back in the office, it was the same thing, just very toxic, like very, it was just all over the place, you know? And then I remember what the specific time that it was, was um, it was right after my birthday and um, we found out one of our employees didn't do something we thought they did likewise and she was very upset and then um basically wanted everybody to work the whole weekend and mind you it was friday so i was a manager obviously so me as a manager i had to find out who can work overtime a lot of people couldn't because it was last minute and you know i tried my best people were telling me like i'll come in for a few hours like you know I had a good relationship with the people I work with, with my department. Um, we all helped each other. We were very, um, we are so close. I still talk to them. And um, so a lot of people couldn't do like the whole weekend. Um, come Sunday, I like talking about work instead of my mental health. But it's like a huge part of why. So come Sunday, it was a huge thing. I'm not going into details. If you guys want the details, or want me to go in more of what happened at my old job, I can definitely do a video about that. But um, come Sunday, it was a huge thing. 
okay? It, mind you, it's Sunday. It's not a work day. And I'm being messaged all these crazy things. And I literally had two panic attacks back to back. I went to the hospital because I literally thought I was going to die. Like, I thought I was having a heart attack. I was so scared. And that's when I noticed, like, I couldn't take anymore. So I left that job. And then that was, like, in the end of July. So come Christmas, and this is all last year. Come Christmas, I, I'm just making sure at the time. Come Christmas, day before Christmas, I had a full-on panic attack. Okay, mind you, I didn't know these were panic attacks. I didn't know it was anxiety. I didn't know what was going on with me. So from July to the 24th of December, I was fine. And then that's the 24th of December is when I had an attack that lasted me four days. Okay, on the fourth day, I decided to go to the hospital. I couldn't take it anymore. And then that's when I decided to reach out to somebody because i didn't know what was wrong with me i was getting super scared um i didn't know if something was wrong with my health if like i don't know what was going on because i was the type of person that didn't think mental health was very common i just thought like it was just you know some people have issues you know mentally and it's it happens but i didn't think it was this common until i went through it myself and i've reached out to people and i've talked about my experiences like it's astounding how many people are like yeah i have the same thing or i've been through it or i know somebody has been through it so the fact that it's just so common i had no idea like and of course you're like not me i don't have that like you know it must be something that i'm missing or it must be like a vitamin that i need or you know something to fix me so I make an appointment with the psychiatrist and um, she's telling me that she diagnosed me. She diagnosed me with anxiety, panic disorder, panic disorder, and depression. Um, and when she did that, it was hard for me to accept that because when you're going through all these things, like all these symptoms in your body, you don't think that mentally... It can, like, your mental health can affect your body. You know, like, how is your brain that strong that's going to give you physical symptoms? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was hard for me to wrap my head around that. So, I did. I make a, I made appointments with a cardiologist and my doctors and all that. And I got tested for so many things. Like, they tested my heart. I did so many EKGs. I did all these ultrasounds to my chest, my lungs. Like, they checked me in and out. And I went to two different doctors because I have that thing in my head like, hey, like, what if this doctor missed something and this doctor won't? So I went to another doctor. And then while I'm doing that, I'm starting therapy as well. And when I got my, um, when the doctor diagnosed me with my disorders, I definitely... I didn't want to be on any medication. That's another thing. I don't like to be on medication. It's not something I wanted. But she told me since I was going to the ER every other day with a panic attack, I needed to get on something to control it. I'm still on medication. We had to tweak it a little bit to get like a right dosage for myself. And... Um, like I said, I went to the doctors. They don't find anything. They can't see anything wrong with me. You know, obviously I'm overweight and I need to get that in line. But everything else, like blood work, I had che I checked my thyroid recently. Everything is fine. I'm healthy. Other than my weight, I'm, super I'm healthy. Like, there's nothing wrong with me. And when I had started therapy, that's when I realized... Like, I finally accepted that this is mental health. Um, the things that we've spoken about kind of opened my eyes to 
things that have happened to me that I haven't dealt with as a child. And just looking back and thinking about experiences that I went through, either that I forgot about them or I didn't think it was a big deal, it all led me to here. So basically, what happened at my job is what set off the whole thing. I already had all this inside of me. Plus, when that happened to me, it just exploded. Like, everything just hit me at once. Um, so, that's kind of what happened. Um, I'm happy to say that I haven't had a panic attack in a long time since Easter this year. So, I'm super happy about that. I do get, like, hints of anxiety. But through therapy, you learn um, all these coping mechanisms. You learn all these techniques. And I've done so much research. And I've done so much reading and talking to people. And that I figured out a way to control it. So the fact that all these techniques and the medication is helping me, I'm accepting that it is mental health and mental health is very important and even if you don't have anxiety or anything or are diagnosed with anything like take care of your mental health honestly like like just take care of yourself make time for yourself that's another thing like i never did self-care or like put myself first or anything so it was it was just like a like a time bomb you know what i mean like waiting to explode and that's what happened and when i got to that point when i was getting hit with the panic attacks every other day it was so terrifying like i was so scared i was so scared and i didn't want to accept mental health so i thought i was going to die um i turned 30 this year i didn't think i was gonna see 30 um it was a lot for me. I still struggle with it. And I'm just so happy that I went. Um, because my whole life as a child, I was told and heard, you know, mental health is not a big deal. And it's just people who are weak. And, you know, all these negative things, these things that are wrong. And I take pride in being a strong person and, you know, standing on my own two feet and not asking for help. And so it took a lot for me to be vulnerable and to open up and to talk about things that I went through. And it's just, I learned so much, especially about myself. And it's just, it even helped my marriage. Uh, we communicate so much better. I let myself feel things. Um, it just, it's just been so beneficial. Like, honestly, therapy has helped me so much. It's just, it's insane. It's insane how talking to a person, a doctor and him helping you through things, how much you realize. Um, but, <clears throat> okay, so that's basically what I went through. Um, down to this point in my life so it's it's been making it's gonna make a year in December um, since the panic attacks really started and I'm just so happy with myself I'm proud of myself and my new goal is to try to lower my dosage on medication or get off of it and try to see if I can manage he broke this and to see if I can just manage my anxiety and all that stuff by myself i have the techniques and also a big part of managing it is also through weight loss exercise things like that to help release all of that so that's what i'm trying to work on currently but um i just want to end this video saying i'm sorry about kayla being so loud first of all um i just want to say that I highly recommend everybody to just take care of yourself. Um, if you need help, just reach out. Mental health is very real. Um, a lot of people go through stuff 
even if it's something small or whatever like it's valid it's real um don't let nobody tell you that it's not a big deal because it is it affects your everyday life um so yeah like i said take care of yourself get the help that you need um listen to your doctors um see different doctors um just make sure you're putting your health first not only physical but mental health it's very important and sometimes and this took me a long time to accept but sometimes no matter how much a job is paying you it's not worth your mental health it's not worth not taking a vacation with your family it's not worth losing time with your kids it's not worth it because they can just replace you honestly like that's the one lesson i learned also this past year is that put myself first my family and period you know what i'm saying so thank you guys for watching i hope um you enjoyed this vlog it's a little bit more serious than the stuff i usually post up but i just wanted to share that in hopes that somebody will see this and get help or you know maybe talk about what they're going through or just understand that this is very normal you know um so yeah i hope you guys have a good day and i'll see you guys tomorrow